Hello everybody, welcome. Now, I'm, this one I'm going to do today, it's a school dinners, but it's going to be a pudding. I've had a few comments saying I've tried it and it's gone completely wrong. And I can't wait till I try it. So I'm going to try it today. Uh, I can't even remember having this at school. Um, so we're going to see what happens. I'm going to do... Gypsy tart with mock cream. I can't remember having it at school, as I say, so I don't know. Um, I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. I don't know if I, and that's uh, Addict can remember what it's like. But we're going to do it anyway. People have said it comes out really runny and that doesn't set. So let's see. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do one in a pastry case and I'm going to do one with my own pastry because you know what I'm like with pastry I'm absolutely useless me and pastry don't get on but I've went and bought some of these people says get these right now trying to get hold of them where I live it's been an absolute nightmare uh, the only place that Adam was a shop in the town they wanted £15 and I weren't paying that and luckily I found one one uh, one jar at Morrison's it was six quid so I got some of them the people said they'd help and I've also got an icing bag I've never used an icing bag before in my life so that's going to be fun so I've got my two cases but I'm only using the one and the other one's going to be my pastry some uh, Marge perfect for cakes if I plated milk, I've got two, because so I'm going to do two. And I've got this sugar, I've never even heard of this before. And I've got, I don't know how to say it, dark Muscovado or something, I don't know. But there's two ones, there's a dark one and a light one. i just got the dark one, I don't know. It doesn't say in the book. It just says some of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure everything out. I'm going to get that in there. I'll take that out, because I'm going to use this, di this dish. I'll save that for, that for another pudding one day. And, uh... We'll get cooking. Right, I've run into a bit of a problem. I've put my, uh, my pastry in the thing here. Yeah, yeah. I've got to put some be beans in. Um, problem I've got, I said I was making two. But it says here, I didn't even look at this before when I got the ingredients yesterday. Uh, 350 grams of dark, the dark sugar, whatever that's called. So, it is the dark, I did get the right one. But, it's 250 grams, these are only 500 grams, I only got one. So what I'm going to do, is with the second one, I'm just going to, uh, half the ingredients, it just probably won't be as full, that's all. It's all I can do, I didn't notice. So I'm going to put some of these beads in here, any beans, whatever they're called. I think you just pile them in, don't you? You fill it up, I don't know, I've never used these before. Would we'll you just put enough on the bottom, to spread it out. I ain't got a clue. I have pricked, because I read the instruction here. I have pricked the bottom of that case. I ain't got my glasses on at the minute. I can't. But it does say there, pick the bottom of the case. So I've done that. Is that about right? That's about right, doesn't it? I suppose. I'll get that in the oven for, what's it say, 10, 15 minutes? Uh, no, 15, 20 minutes. I'll get that in the oven. Then I'll mix this together. Right. While well, that's in the oven, it says... Just whip the evaporated milk and the sugar together for 10 minutes or until well blended and then pour into the cooled case. So we'll do that then. Uh, sugar. Put loads of sugar there for it. Look at all that sugar. Loads of evaporated milk. Get it in. And I'll mix till smooth. Right, that's all mixed up. Looks very watery. Is that how it's supposed to look? And there's loads there. I'm not going to get all that in there, am I? No way. I'm going to put that one in the pre-made pastry case anyway. I'll get what I can. Right, there's the one. I'll leave that to the side. I'm just going to make another one. Right. That's been in for like 15 minutes. And people say, take them back out and put it back in for another five. So I'm going to do that. 
just to get the bottom done. I've got to try and get this pastry right one day. Moving them out of the way. I'm going to stick that back in the bottom now. In the bottom, in the oven. Just for a little bit. Right, while that's uh, pre-baking, when I open this one, it all broke. All right. So what I'm going to do, I've got myself a tin, put some lining paper in it. Because there's loads in there, I'm going to break this up. And then whatever's left, I'm just going to pour in there. Because it's supposed to set in it, so see if it cooks. Might, might not, I don't know. And have it sort of like a shortbread cake thing, whatever you call it. See what happens. Nothing like a little experiment while you're going on. Spread it out and I'll pour some, some of that on there. Well, you can't even see that, can you? Look at me. Just pour some of that on there like that. Right, that's done. That case. I think I've got to allow that to cool down now, I think it says. Yeah, and allow the pastry case to cool. So I've got to allow that to cool down. It's just a waiting game. Sorry, I forgot to press record. Uh, I filled that one up. That's my one. And I've done my homemade version there with just some of the the pastry in there and that and just topped it in so we will uh put it all in the oven 10 minutes i think it says let me have a look uh 10 minutes or until set yeah 10 minutes till set and then we'll get it out right i'm gonna get them out um one seems quite firm that one seems quite firm. That was the pre-made one. My one seems really runny. Um, so I don't know. Or would it get hard as you leave it? I don't want to overcook them, so it's just starting to get brown look, and I don't want to get it too brown. There's that one. And here's the, my budget one. What I'm going to do, let's say that's really wobbly, that one is. Hold on. I can't see properly, got no room. This one's really wobbly. That one isn't. So will that set as it dry, as it cools? We'll find out. I've just been looking online to see whether I've done this right. Because obviously the book doesn't give you good instructions. And it says there, uh, let me have a look. Gypsy tart is a fairly easy dessert recipe with simple ingredients. And the filling, the filling is evaporated milk and the dark sugar. However, despite the filling comp compromised of two ingredients, it can, be, it can be easily get wrong. That's what it says. If you overcook the gypsy tart, the ingredients will liquefy. All right? Then it says... Uh, Bake the gypsy tart for eight to 10 minutes, which is what I did, 10 minutes. You'll want a golden crust and for the filling to be just set. Well, that's what mine is. And leave to completely cool. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it to completely cool down all the way. Um, I'm gonna go and fix my bike. Me and the lad are going on a bike ride this afternoon. So this afternoon, later on this afternoon, we'll check it out again. So I just thought I'd give you that information because I know some people got it wrong. And according to that website, don't know, we'll find out. Right, they've been cool for about an hour now. One of them's still very runny, but they're all cold, so people did tell me that they're very runny and they don't work properly. So while they're still setting a little bit more, I'm going to do the cream. And it says uh, 50 grams of marge, 50 grams of caster sugar. Two tablespoons of hot water, two tablespoons of milk. Cream together the margarine and the sugar until fluffy. Beat in the milk a drop at a time, enough water to the consistency you desire. So, sugar. 50 grams of sugar, well, caster sugar. 50 grams of marge, which I've had eight now for a bit, nice and soft. Uh, cream together. Now 
What does cream together mean? Does it mean just whisk? I don't know. I'm just going to whisk anyway. Right, two tablespoons of milk. I've heated it up in the microwave. So it says, beat the milk, drop it at a time. Beat in the milk and drop it at a time. So put a little drop of milk in. I'm going to whisk. Well, I've done all that. I'm going to turn to my uh, hand whisk. I'm going to beat it. I haven't put the water in. I don't know if I need to. Quite thick. I mean, there's not, not a lot there, but I put a little drop of water in. That'll do. Just a touch. And we'll see. There we go. I think that's about right. So that's going to go in a piping bag. Right, I was told as well. Piping bag, use a cup in it or glass. They say it makes it easier to get in there, doesn't it, or something. I don't know how you do that, do you like that? Like that, ain't it, I suppose. Spoon it in. And there's not a lot here, but it's only a test for me, so it's a little bit runny, that is now. Supposed to be runny? I don't know. I ain't got a clue. Get it in anyway. Right, that's all in. I mean, it's not much. Oh. It's coming out, that's a start. Folds up like that for a minute. Right, I've got them all out, they're all cold. Now if you look, you can still see it's runny in the middle there. I have dipped my finger in it, it's like a mousse on top, I don't know whether that's right or not. I can't remember if I have it. The one I made is like a, look at it, I don't know if you can tell on there, it's like a wave in the sea. And this one looks probably the best. I don't know. Um, let's put some, I'm just going to put some of this on the one, I've never done this before, this piping lark. Oh, so let's just stick some on here, on the one. I'm not going to do it all because it looks like it's going to be well runny. And there isn't much of this piping stuff here anyway, for a whole pie. Just slightly bit of one left. Oh well. Well, right, we're going to cut it open now. And I think it's going to flood everywhere. Look, it's going to spill out everywhere. I can see it. Right, scissors. Not scissors, knife, I mean. Here we go. Moment of truth, can you see that? I think I'll cut the ends off there so I can get it out easier. Scissors are just washed up, scissors have been washed, so just give them a dry. Right, let's have a look. Let's cut that off. Don't know, look at that cream. Well, watery, in it? I shouldn't have put some extra stuff on it, should I? Some of that water, I shouldn't have put that water in it. Right, let's have a look. Is that um, cut? Make sure it's cut so I can grab it. Yeah, very runny in the middle, isn't it? See? I don't think it's supposed to be like that, is it? I don't know, to be honest. 
Yeah, it's very runny in the middle. Got a spoon. Oh no, it's a bit like a mousse. Hmm. I'll taste test it in a minute. Let's try this one. It hasn't got no stuff on it, but it doesn't matter. Put some of this off. This is the wave one. Oh no, look at this one. This one's, look at that one. That one's nothing, look. See, I can't even pick that up. Mmm. Well, oh, that one's no good. Probably dripping everywhere. So we're going to be using that one. Clean my knife. I'm going to lift this one out. Oh, no, look at it. Look. You can't eat that, man. Look at it. Well, I think the people that told me in the comments about it, and I think they're right, you know. Because I'm sure that's not supposed to be like that. It's all gooey in that underneath, it's not supposed to be like that, is it? Let's taste test that one. But these are a joke. <laughs> oh, no. This one's all gone pear shaped. I'm going to taste it anyway, but I don't think this is going to be nice at all. Very sweet, that is. Ooh. I don't like that. That's far too sweet for me. Far too sweet. Let me see if Anne wants to try some. Well, Anne that's going to try some. She's not coming on. She had her hair done. She looks nice. She should show you, but she won't. I haven't straightened it yet. Tell me what you think. Why is that? <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting, isn't it? Isn't it horrible, that? It's very sweet, isn't it? That's not... The pastry, yeah, but I bought, the pastry, that in there? I bought the pastry from the shop. So what's in there? Evaporated milk and uh, brown sugar. You like sweet stuff, what do you think? Spoil on any look at this one. Keeps kitchen right now. <laughs> look at this one. I like the crust. Yeah, but I bought that crust from the shop. <laughs> Pre-packed. That's my own crust. Is that supposed to be set? It's supposed to be set. But look, it's like a wave. The people in the comments says to me they've done it. And it's like liquid. And they said I've done it a few times. So there we go. It's not nice. But this bit's nice. Yeah, but that's shop bought that bit. Try my bit. See you think of my bit. Wouldn't have that goo stuff in my head, you will. I'll just have the crush. Hmm? Your pastry's nice. More than nice as well. Mm -hmm. Got my pastry right. Part of sham about the pie. I think you've had a bit of a nightmare there. Oh. You have to... Well, I've been on this now since what, half ten? It's half one. How long have I been, been on it for? Other people made it. Yeah, and they all said exactly the same. It was runny. So there we go. I thought I'd try it myself, and they asked me to try it. I've tried it, and it's no good. It's not nice. And it doesn't taste nice, does it? I love cake. You love cake, but. That's far too sweet, isn't it, that, do you think? It's got a weird taste to it. It's mm. not sweet and bitter. Yeah, it's horrible. I don't like it. No. Well, there we go, anyway. It was something I tried. 
doesn't work. People were right. I am the old food guy. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Till the next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Right, quick one at the end. I've decided you got a dog sneezing. Got decided I'm not going to be doing any more of them school dinners. They're just a waste of time. The principle's good, but they uh, a lot of them don't work. Um, so I've come up with another idea. I'm going to start doing uh, Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh recipes. Not from them, I'm not going to buy them from them. I'm just going to copy their recipes. I'm going to get them from uh, supermarkets and that. And I'm going to make, I'm going to do some of them recipes because them school dinners, they're a waste of time. You know, you can't just keep going wasting money and throwing it around for the stuff that don't work all the time. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's just a quick one at the end. So if anyone asks, no, there's going to be no more school dinners. Maybe occasionally, maybe put my twist on it or something. But as to following the actual recipe itself, no, nah, I'm not going to be doing it. So it's going to be a hello fresh from now on. I'm going to start them. I might just start them tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, see you later. Bye bye.